so I will be talking today about teen car accidents. Currently, most states allow for teens to for teen drivers to apply for a driver's permit six months after their 15th birthday. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for U.S. teens. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 2,270 teens in the United States ages 16 and 19 were killed and 221,313 were treated in emergency departments for injuries suffered in motor vehicles crashes in 2014. That means that six teens ages 16 to 19 died every day from motor vehicle injuries. The crash rate for 16 year olds is 3.7 times higher than drivers of all ages. Although teen driving may save a teen's and parents' time and be a convenience, the risks of fatal crashes and injury are a lot higher. I've always been interested in helping teens in some way, and, doing, and upon doing extensive research, I came up with this proposition. The United States federal government should increase the driving age to 18 in order to make our roads safer. I'll first show you the causes of teen car accidents and why teens are at higher risk for car accidents. Then I'll, explain, then I'll offer explanations and solutions to parents and teens on how they could save time and have, and have some convenience even if teens don't drive until the age of 18. Teens are at higher risk for car accidents because teens are also more likely than adults to make critical decision errors that lead to serious crashes. According to a study on comparison of teen and adult driver crash scenarios done by C.C. McDonald for the Accident Anal Analysis and Prevention in 2014, teens are more likely to speed and tailgate. According to CDC, teens have among the lowest rates of seatbelt use compared to other age groups. In 2015, only 61% of high school students reported they always wear seat belts. Cell phone usage causes distraction in teens. In a study done by Brain Research in 2008, it was found that cell phone use behind the wheel reduces the amount of brain activity associated with driving by 37%. In 2009, Pew Research Center reported that one in three teens ages 16 to 17 say they have texted while driving. Half of cell phone owning teens ages 16 to 17 say they have talked on a cell phone while driving. The number of passengers in the car distracts teens. The risk of crashing is significantly elevated for teen drivers who have teenage passengers. Pediatric Medicine reported in 2008 that two or more peer passengers triples the risk of a fatal crash, fatal crash with a teen at the wheel. The risk for motor vehicle crashes increases substantially after dark, particularly among young drivers. According to Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the fatal crash rate of 16-year-olds is nearly twice as high at night and among teen, and among teen nighttime crashes, 58% happen between 9 p.m. and midnight. The last cause of teen car accidents and is, in, is inexperience. Teens just do not have enough experience to be driving at 16. Not enough sufficient practice, not enough maturity and developed capacity for judgment, and not enough reasoning. There is also not enough skills and knowledge. The accident analysis and prevention found in one analysis of police reports that almost 2,000 crashes in which newly uh, licensed drivers were involved pointed to inexperience as a major contributor. Now that we have looked at the causes of teen car accidents, let us see the solutions and how these solutions can make our roads safer for everybody. First major solution would be restricting full driving privilege to the age of 18 and permit access to age of 16. Teens will be able to get their permit at 16 and have the next two years to practice behind the wheel with a parent or adult. This will give them two years of experience in driving. Another solution would be restricting the number of teen passengers in the car. 
This will allow teens to concentrate on their driving skills and reduce the number of distractions, distractions in the car. Putting a curfew and restriction on night driving for teens could prevent car accidents. And lastly, having regular conversations about safety, practicing driving together and leading by example go a long way in ensuring your teen makes smart decisions when they get behind the wheel. Parents worry less about their teen driver's, saf teen, teen driver's safety during the new license phase when crash risk is high as compared to the learning phase, according to CDC. Therefore, working with your teen to outline hazards and consequences can, provi can prevent car accidents. Earlier this year, my aunt died in a car accident. She was driving back from work the night before her anniversary and a group of teenagers crashed into her around 10 p.m. She's pronounced dead at the scene. I am sure some of you have lost a loved one due to a car accident. The federal government raises the age to 18. Our roads will be safe and many innocent lives will be saved. Raising the, drive, raving, raising the driving age to 18 will give teens two extra years of practice, making it safe for them and for everyone else. It is understandable that parents work hard and want their children to become responsible as soon as possible and also want the convenience of saving time. But they should also understand the consequences they may be putting their teens and everyone else on the road when their teenagers do start driving as early as 16. Thank you.